the bottom we have 35 meter transfer girder. So this transfer girder uh, is from level 3 to level 9 and it's spanning 35 meters. Moving on to the beam arrangement. So the tower area is basically like a T section. So you would see the beams, the main beams, which you see as a red line. Uh, these are arranged in such a way that the secondary beams, of course, are going to be lesser of depth and the MEP uh, running on the false ceiling is uh, perpendicular to the secondary beams and parallel to the uh, primary beams. So, the complete configuration was done in such a way to, you know, optimize on the floor to floor uh, heights and also for the facade. Uh, you know, the main beam would always have two secondary beams supporting. So this secondary beam also acts as a prop to the main beam as far as the facade loads come into picture. So this was the overall arrangement. The typical grid is 10.2 meters by 10.2 meters is a grid with the two uh, secondary beams in between. So the metal deck uh, is spanning for about uh, 3.4 meters. So that is how the arrangement had been put in. A typical metal deck uh, slab, composite metal deck slab, uh, spanning for 3.4 meters, uh, TR60, 60 deep uh, profile, 1 mm thick sheet, and 150 thick overall with a top mesh uh, uh, reinforcement. And of course, we have the fire bar. Uh, to take care of the fire requirements. And as far as the beams are concerned, uh, one very decisive call uh, that was taken for this project was uh, all the beams were ordered and supplied cut to length. Because if I order a typical 12 meter beam, they are going to have 20% wastage, which cannot be afforded of the project of this magnitude. So all beams uh, was uh, ordered and supplied, it was cut to length. So just the address was prepared and it went through the uh, fabrications. Of course for optimization, uh, we had gone for cable and we have added a cover plate so that we can play on with the uh, minimum number of uh, steel sections that was used because there was a lot of variation in the loads even though the uh, grids are typical, uh, some floors had to be accommodating uh, uh, theaters, some uh, you know MRIs, so the, there were a lot of variation in the loads. So the way to overcome that was to go with cover plates and cables. Uh, another important note is you know vibration. So we had restricted it to 4 hertz so that you know there is no discomfort for the uh, uh, patients who is being treated there. Typical detail of a CFT column, you would, apart from you know other CFT column and beams, uh, the axial forces is not really taken care by the beams because you will have a stiff diaphragm. But here because of the uh, cutouts and all the other reasons, the beams had to take in the axial force. So uh, the top plates was designed for the axial force that is transferred in the beams and uh, the web connection which is a shear uh, connection had a slotted hole so that we don't want any axial force going through the web uh, to the CFT column. Uh, the diaphragm was created at each floor level so that the CFT column doesn't uh, you know, have to uh, go through the axial force transfer. Uh, two cases, one at place where the CFT column had to be spliced, so you would have two plates with a bolted connection, and in the other level where the CFT column was not spliced, it was a true diaphragm plate connecting to the top plates of the wheels. Uh, to take care of uh, construction, uh, you know, we would have to fill the CFT columns with uh, concrete 
M60 grade self-compacting concrete. So uh, we had a side cut out uh, through which the concrete was poured in. The pour would be for two levels because that is how the columns were planned. Every uh, uh, alternate levels there was splicing. So once the concrete is filled in, uh, the cutout what you see on the left, uh, uh, you know, the column that would be uh, welded, CJP, grinded and painted. And apart from this, since we have the diaphragm plates, uh, during the concrete pouring, we didn't want any air entrapment happening below these plates. So we had to provide some deep holes kind of things so that the air could uh, escape when the concrete is being poured. So that's on the other side of the uh, image. Again, uh, on the base plate, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, uh, on the base plate. Uh, we have a recession so that uh, this can go in. Moving on to transfer girder, this is a uh, uh, nice one. It's 35 meter transfer girder uh, supporting uh, seven floors in the top. So uh, with the floating columns. On the right uh, and the middle that is TG1, TG2A, uh, TG2B. Uh, this is resting one side on the uh, core wall and on the other side it is resting on the uh, CFD column. The transfer girder 3 rests on the CFD column and another transfer girder which is cantilevering out. Uh, this transfer girder has to be completely embedded into the core wall because this needs to have the seismic uh, participation from the other side of the tower also. Uh, this is a typical connection that would happen on the CFD column. So the CFD column would come with stubs, uh, with uh, cleats, and then that would be erected and welded in place. On the other side, uh, the transfer uh, girder is embedded into the concrete core wall, and, uh, it, and it is constructed, and there would be a, a field weld splice happening between the transfer girder and the embedment. A few more images on uh, the transfer girder, uh, how uh, the connections had come up. Uh, this is, uh, we did a pre-assembly before uh, sending it to uh, uh, the site. Uh, so that is a transfer girder that you see and the plate thickness varies from uh, up to uh, 90 mm thick and we had used uh, uh, Z graded plates to avoid uh, laminar tearing so that has been taken care of the transfer plate. Just to, uh, that That's a typical embedment uh, coming up uh, for the transfer girder. Uh, the embedment that would get inside the concrete uh, shear wall. That's a picture that was taken a few weeks back. On the right, you would see the uh, core wall, and on the uh, left side, you would see the main tower coming up, and between this is where the transfer girder would be erected. Another perspective image uh, of the project once that is completed. Uh, that's it. Thank you.